Ah, Santeni sana. Ah, Philip generally hapa. Kwanza sijasikia mada, so itabidi tu niongee about something. Asiye tunaniambia nitoke, wewe ndio unaweza enda kwako. Hii Kenya ni yetu sote. So, first thing guys, kitu nataka kuambia ni hiyo pumbavu sijui itatutokea kwa akili lini. It is so shameful. Some people bado wanasema it watasimama sijui nyuma ya nani. Let me ask you a specific question my people. Sisi kama wa Kenya. Mnadhani kama venye tunatokelezea hapa kila siku tunakuja kuongea hapa bunge la Jakaranda. Tungetokelezea tu one day na tuseme hiyo office ndio natumika vibaya na tuende huko. Tuseme atutoki huko hadi mtu mmoja atoke. Each and every time this is the black mela watu wanataka. Wabunge all of them are employed. Lakini wanasema self employment but they can't even create a favorable environment for us to create these job opportunities tujifanyie kazi kuna vitu zingine sawa tufai kuongelelea majamaa tusiongelee mzinga kama Ruto tusiongelee mzinga kama Raila yes alifanya kitu lakini the truth remains Raila amekuwa kwa hizo serikali zote what change ameleta kwa hii Kenya hiyo nayo tutasema tu tuko na freedom ya kuongea mtu amesikia vibaya utaenda kuna wakati mwingine itabidi sisi pia tukue hash. Kuna mjinga fulani anaitwa Ruto. Hapana, lazima tu niendelee kuongea. Kitu nataka kusema ni Najua lakini mnikubalie tu niongee. Hapana, lazima tu nimalize. No, just allow me finish. Allow me to finish. I know, I know. I know I know but na allow me to talk. Nani amesikia vibaya? Nani amesikia vibaya? I can't withdraw. I have, I have to talk. Allow me to talk. No, allow me to talk. Nitaongea by force, upende usipende, sawa? The thing is, there is something I want to say. There is some kind of stupidity, guys, that are trying to tolerate. This is William Ruto, so I any president. He is a killer. He is a murderer. This person is thirsty for blood and power. Na kuna vitu zingine anafanya sa i. That is the same way. That is the reason why it feels so painful. Mavijana waliuliwa. Mavijana bado wanauliwa. Watu wanapaitika na day in day out. Lakini they can't talk even about those. Ikipika kwa impeachment, wanaita public participation. Wakati walikuwa naingia huko, walisema they are going to fight for wananchi wa kawaida. Wanaenda kupigania watu wa boda boda. Wanaenda kupigania mama mboga. Nyinyi hapa mniambia how many people are employed? Niambie wakina nani leo wametoka kazi. Hapa ndani. Angalieni mkoni ziko juu. Angalieni mkoni ziko juu. Na tuangalie mkono ngapi ziko chini. Na tuanga... Just a minute. Tuangalie mkono ngapi ziko juu na ngapi ziko chini. Kiasi bro, just a minute. Tafadhali mtu wako na mambo atanitafuta nikitoka hapa tuongee kwa wanaume huko nje. Sasa kitu nataka kusema ni Ah what there is no one who cares about wananchi. Ukweli usemwe. Hakuna hata mmoja. Oya wewe. I'm saying is wa Kenya sasa hivi tunafaa kusimama Kenya hiyo Kenya yetu imeenda Shame to Ruto shame to all these politicians wanaume wengine wakikuwa kwa leaders wakikuwa kwa leadership wanapiga against corruption but wao wanaendeleza corruption wengine wanapigania maendeleo wao wanapigania viti wako huko lakini hakuna kazi wanafanya There is no change that will come to this country. There is no person when you atakuja ku prophesy at 2027 tutakuwa na good leadership. Change must be fought for. It is you and me who must come out to say me enough is enough with corruption. Enough is enough with bad governance. Na to say me imetosha. Is sasa ya mdoma ile tusaidia hatutaenda anywhere. So you should not be protecting anyone. Those people wako na kazi mnadhani tuseme sasa hii wacheme lockdown ya one year 
wengine wao wanaweza kai even for five good years without going to job na watakula and they won't complain jiulize wewe uko wapi ndio maana sasa tunafaa kuweka ukabila kando tusiseme eti mtu wangu anapigwa tunafaa kujitolea wote wengine tunapiga piga huku kelele tatusaidia na nini tunaenda ma, tunaenda ma, kama maandamano tunaweza tokelezea mtu akisema eti amenyang'anywa kura ameibiwa lakini sasa hii kelele yetu inaibiwa tuko nyumbani hatuwezi tokelezea then we are expecting one day to kuwa a good country whereby wengine wanazotoka kwa nchi nyingine wakuja kutafuta kazi huko kwani sisi ndio tulizaliwa kwenda kutafuta kazi kwingine this is our motherland and it is true sasa hii kwa bad hands hao ni ambao kuiba Kenya wote all of them are corrupt it is you and me who must bring a change to this country it must start with you sasa so, yaje ku protect somebody that person ni niwambia the other day hata hizo kulipia rent unaweza ni support wewe unataka wengine wetu wame tume hadi tumekufia wanasiasa tumekufa wamezikwa but they are still on those seats it is now ke- time kenyans we must wake up we must wake up it is so painful wananchi wamekuwa discriminated wame nini wengine wa, walistupwa hawajawahi patikana families are still crying we guys tunaweza kuwa na kazi uko na kazi lakini jiulizee ikifikanga hata mid month tunakuanga na hiyo pesa uko nayo auna wanasema pesa mfukoni lakini pesa mfukoni will only come by the time we have a good government somebody who cares about us who cares about me sasa nawaambia hivi my last word my last word sasa hiki tunafaa kupigania vitu tunafaa kuongelelea ni venye tutapeleka nchi yetu mbele sio venye mtu anatolewa kwa kiti yake na venye nani anawekwa hiyo wapigane huko sisi kitu tunafaa kufanya ni tuwapige wote waende leadership site tunafaa kupeleka kwa mkono wetu tuseme mosho wana hao siku moja kwa president acha ni Raila sasa sasa ndio haya